What is up everybody? Keith, go back get a guy 231 on Silver and really excited for another episode just focusing on for new players um, about taking your journey through the academy. We're gonna go over some very, very affordable players that you can use this weekend uh, to target you know your different thresholds on the academy, whether it is just to get over that 300 to get another star common to add to your arsenal of players. Hopefully you got some good comments from Sora when you signed up or you're trying to push to the next level of getting to that 400 for a tier three or that 450. I don't have it on me. I think it's 450 to get that tier two limited and really start the rewards. I heard um, Andy Black was the first person I heard say this, but the rewards snowballing where you just have a nice churn of rewards and that's where you really can start adding all this up. So. Quick reminder, just give this uh, video a like if you're watching and, and hopefully the quality is good enough that it is going to be up on the the new pod feed as well. So if you um, are listening, please make sure you give a subscribe, um, rate and review really helps as well. Finally, if you just are not able to watch this whole thing, um, look at Twitter, I'll put a link in the details, but I um, did put this list out on Twitter as well. All right. Let's get into it. So we're gonna talk in ETH terms right now. ETH is actually making a little bit of a rally. It's up to about 1200 um, US dollars versus like, you know, when I did my last video, it was about 1050. So um, what ends up happening a lot if you're brand new to SoRare, especially in the limiteds, if ETH goes up, the price of your limiteds are gonna go down a little bit, with the exception obviously if your guy is just mashing and just goes crazy, then you'll get, appreciates value everybody chases the last five numbers but let's say that you got about a guy last weekend for 0.004 ETH which at the time was like five bucks well he might be only worth 0.0035 or 003 right now same US dollar price but difference in ETH and you're gonna have those fluctuations we're looking at such low budget we're gonna be talking about guys under 0.005 so at about six bucks and guys under 0.01, so about 12 bucks. So we're still talking about an investment of less than 20 bucks to get this going. Guys that we could sell on for 80, 90% or just hold on to and use again. I'm gonna be going over a few of those guys that have midweeks coming up. So let's just get right into it. Defenders under 0.005. The standout for me is Robin Jansen from Orlando. Um, he's coming in about 0.004 ETH when I looked. Um, he's home versus Miami, which is an excellent matchup. Orlando should really dominate possession versus Miami away from home. And on top of that, Jansen gives you midweek utility. He's um, playing at Colorado. He should be a banged on starter for both. I'm really looking forward to Orlando getting back to putting Antonio Carlos back there and just ending the Rodrigo Schlegel era. Uh, I don't watch enough Orlando to um, to really make up oh, sorry to really make a comment. But if you listen, to watch any Orlando fan or any Orlando message board, they all just hate Rodrigo Schlegel with passion. Sorry about that. Um, so you know, I think Jansen and Antonio Carlos was when uh, Orlando was really going well was a very good defensive team last year, so I expect him to get back to it, so I think that's a really good price. Matt Hedges um, is a consistent guy for me on this list, 0 .0034, away to Houston, and then I believe, I don't have it written down, I believe he has midweek utility too, but that's a really nice price on Hedges, captain of the team, has some really good scores. Same with Jansen, like both guys are consistent 50s, have goal upside, both are set piece threats, so can give you some big scores, but again, with our limiteds, we get that 40% boost, so getting 50, that puts us up to 70 points, um, which is which is a big deal. So um, the last one would be Jonathan Mensah. He also has midweek utility. Um, Columbus has two games coming up. Captain of the team as well, 0.0042 away to Chicago. I think it's a neutral matchup. And then um, I believe it's DC midweek. I, I don't, don't hold me to it. But again, all three really cheap MLS guys um, to get you started. And guys that are gonna be starting every single week. Like that's the other thing on this list. I don't wanna give you guys or I don't want you targeting people that are you're gonna worry about rotation or are only in for a game. Um, I think that's really important. So those are three. Just an honorable mention, didn't make my list, but Luca Petrazzo, if you are looking for like a one-week wonder, um, with Pozzuolo gone, Insigne still hurt, um, was splitting sets with Pozzuolo. I think he's likely to split with Michael Bradley, but um, nice young player, he's also U23, so that should carry him some sell-on value. If he starts going really well, his price should soar up really quick under 0.01 so if you want to spend a little bit more i don't necessarily think you need to here i i like the 
under .005 guys as much as this. But Miguel Torin for um, for Argentinos Jr. It's a nice player. Again, another captain, banged in starter. He's at about .008. Rudy Camacho from Montreal. I think he's our team, team captain um, when Mihalovic isn't playing. But home for sport in Kansas City, so that's a really good matchup. And then finally, just a, as a random kind of play, I don't like wingbacks. If you notice, all five has been center backs. But Shiotani um, for Hiroshima, they have a really good matchup this weekend. Um, he's about .01 on their minus 150 at home. A team that carries gets a lot of clean sheets. So I think those are good to target. At the midfield position, Michael Bradley, my boy, or recently my boy, just bought his super rare. So now I'm a big fan of Michael Bradley. But um, look, Michael Bradley plays every single week without fail, just every week. His dad just plugs him in. But it's for good reason. Like Michael Bradley is still a good player. Um, just had a huge game this past weekend. It's a really good matchup home versus San Jose. And with no Pozuelo, there is a shot that Michael Bradley will split some corners with Petrasso. So um, 0 .004 for him, I think, is a really good price. Uh, Alejandro Bedoya, captain of Philly. I didn't even realize how many team captains I have on this list. But it's great because they start. But Alejandro Bedoya, .005 home for his DC. DC is a dumpster fire at the back, so there's a really good goal or decisive I was going to say goal or assist, but that's also decisive equity for Bedoya. Uh, and then finally, Junior Orso, just pure punt, .0026 when I pulled it. Home versus Miami. Um, really good box-to-box -box guy. The only concern with Orso is he had a, a few games early this season. He was benched. Um, Pereira is going to be playing, it appears. Um, so, you know, they could decide to switch it up with Urso. They're struggling. But I do think Urso is a really quality player. Again, has a midweek coming up. So, I like him. Um, at point zero one, uh, Andrew Laird, one of our chats, just recently called Enzo Perez the most underpriced player on the platform. So, he makes the list at point zero zero seven. River is minus 300 favorite. This weekend, there's Scott Knox out of Liber Torres. Enzo Perez, yet again. Uh, I think he's team captain. I think he's over Armani, but good player. Christian F. Spinoza, I'd much rather just take .04 for Michael Bradley, but .009 away to Toronto. Takes most of their set pieces. Very active attacker, so I think he could do worse than him. And then again, just because I wanted to do three of each one, random, off the chart, but interesting play. Fernando Guerrero, um, down at Ciencito, I think is how you say their name, down in Peru. Minus 150 had an assist last weekend, assist the weekend before that. It's playing left wing on a very, very attacking oriented team, 0 0.006. For forward, there's only one that I found at any price point. That's Andy Polo. Don't. If you have moral obligations or moral ethical dilemmas on guys, do not take Andy Polo. Has a checkered pass that got him out of the MLS, but he's playing down for the U, Universitario in Peru take set pieces. He's a forward eligible card on most of them. Make sure you're buying his forward card. If that's what you need for your lineup, 0 .007, they're about a minus 200 home favorite. Now just keep in mind like who you're picking here should really be based off of what your gallery is. So hopefully um, Silver gave you a goalkeeper that's starting. And then I would just see who are the other best players I have, right? If I have a Sashinya, I'm blocking him in at forward. I don't need any pillow. I don't need to grab a forward. Um, if I have, I was going to say Enzo Fernandez, that's bad. Carlos Heel, that's just a plug and play at midfield, right? So, you know, maybe I need a forward if I don't have one. So look who's playing, who's definitely going to play, because you will get a star common for sure if you get five starters. That will happen, um, especially if you have two limiteds with that 40% boost. So the goal should be to get five, com uh, five starters. Um, final reminder on the academy is you want to do your academy – lineup but then you definitely need to make sure you still enter a casual league lineup you could do that with five guys that don't start get last place and still get a tier two common while that doesn't seem like much a tier two common could end up being you know a, a, just a decent guy that plays 